Welcome to Rolling University's support tutorial video series. Printing metallic silver and white from Roland VersaWorks, single pass and dual pass. We're going to start by double clicking on a file in the job list window of Roland VersaWorks and change the quality settings. When working with the quality settings, it's a good idea to use the zoom tool to see more of the image detail, especially with files containing layers of white and metallic silver data. Now, in this particular file, we've already pre-selected the media setting as CCVP Clear Calendared Vinyl MT. And Roland VersaWorks offers a variety of clear media profiles, such as Clear Polyester Film, also named Clear Pet Film. Now, for single pass printing on clear media, we can use the white and CMYK MT mode, which prints white beneath CMYK MT at the same time. In VersaWorks, it's a good idea to verify the layers of data contained in the file. As you can see, this file contains white data, as well as CMYK data, and the last layer that contains is metallic silver data, displayed in grayscale. So if I want to print a large quantity of these labels in single pass and use a take-up system, then I would choose the white and CMYK MT mode. Now, in order to reverse print this label file, I can choose the CMYK, MT, and white mode. And in this mode, I need to make sure that I click the Layout tab and activate the mirror checkbox to reverse the image as you see here in the preview window. So the CMYK, MT, and white mode prints CMYK, MT beneath white at the same time. Depending on the speed and image quality desired, we can also print in dual pass. When printing in dual pass, we print the white data first before printing the CMYK and metallic silver data. When we select to print the white data first, we go into the cut control tab and make sure that we turn on the operation mode to print only and return to origin after print. So the printer will print white ink on the clear media and return to origin afterwards. The other setting we want to make sure that we adjust is in the printer control tab is the dry time. When printing with white ink, we recommend 15 minutes of dry time for best results. And we can go back to the quality settings and see if there's anything else we need to change. But if everything is set correctly, we can just click the OK box and then just go ahead and print the white data only. After printing the white data, I can now set up the second pass to print the CMYK and metallic silver data. When we go back into the quality controls, I'm now going to change the print mode from white over to CMYK MT on white. And CMYK MT on white is designed exclusively for dual pass printing because the profiles assume that you've already printed white separately and now you're going to be printing CMYK and metallic silver on top of white. Now, if we want to change that for reverse printing, we would select CMYK MT under white. And again, CMYK MT under white assumes that you're going to be reverse printing an image. In that case, you need to change your layout tab and change the settings to turn on the mirror option for reversing the image. Now you'll notice when switching from dual pass to single pass printing that the print times displayed may differ. In single pass printing, Roland VersaWorks shows an estimated print time of about 52 minutes for this particular job. When calculating the total print time for dual pass printing, we calculate the time required for printing just the white data, which is about 7 minutes in this job, plus the additional 15 minutes recommended dry time when printing with white, followed by the time required to print CMYK MT on white. In this case, it's going to be about 15 minutes. So the total print time we now have is about 37 minutes for printing in dual pass compared to 52 minutes for printing in single pass. It's important to remember that for the sake of image registration accuracy, dual pass printing is not recommended for jobs longer than about 3.3 feet or 1 meter. So for longer print jobs, single pass printing is preferred. Now the image quality with white and metallic silver will vary by media and print modes, so it's a good idea to produce test prints before starting large print jobs. This concludes our support tutorial video. Please refer back to this or other tutorials for more tips on how to improve your Roland workflow. And visit RolandDGA.com 
for additional information.